on New Japan Dominion. And by the way, can I appreciate them for only doing a nine match card? Mm-hmm. Like, can I appreciate that right now? I'm so used to New Japan, one of these shows having like all these ridiculous tag matches that mean nothing and all this stuff. And we just have a nine match card. And there's a couple matches, obviously, we can just get through real fast, but like, it's a good card. It's yeah. not a great card, but it's a good card. Like, I heard the guys over at Brass Spring were like, this is not a great card. I'm like, it's a good card for what they have, for what they're doing. You know, I mean, it's not going to be perfect because they don't have the lineup to do it. But, like, for what they have, it works. Mm-hmm. All right, let's get through the easy stuff first. Um, and then I know, first, is, is this Callan Newman? Who is Callan yeah. Newman? Do I know him? <laughs> yeah, so he was a young boy for uh, essentially United Empire. So it's, again, oh, following okay, up on what kind of issue we're talking about. Uh, that's probably why I, re- I recognize him when I see him. All right, this simple as nice for winning, obviously. Um, and then we have um, TMDK, uh, Robbie Eagles, uh, Coach Rafita, and Zach Sabre Jr., Versus the um, Bullet Club War Dogs, which, by the way, anytime I say a new Bullet Club name, Christian looks like, there's another Bullet Club? There's another one? <laughs> Bullet <laughs> Club Sapphire. <laughs> um, Clark Connors and Drew Maloney and LJ Cleary. This might be their one big tag match to get people on the show. Is it as simple as PMDK and them winning? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's get to the first title match of the evening. We love making fun of this title. You do. I know when we have Kelly Walt on the show, we love making fun of this belt. It's always fun. It's always ridiculous. It's always silly. It is the provisional King of Pro Wrestling 2024 Championship. It is um, Yuriona versus the Great Okan. <clears throat> and it's a Stormcatch rules match. Rich, what the blue L, the Stormcatch rules match? <laughs> All right. So the storm part is it's a 15 minute time limit. Catch rules is it's going by traditional catch. So when you mentioned earlier not seeing Shayna back in the day in UFC or MMA, one of the things she did a lot in the indies was the catch wrestling. So not a lot of strikes, so no strikes are allowed. So it's like, think about the pure title. So grapples and submissions only. You only have two rope breaks or leaving the ring, one or the other. And then you're done. Okay, so and it's a, all the pure title. Like it's a pure title. Yeah, okay, and I a think, third escape. I don't understand. I don't understand. Yeah, so a third escape qualifies as a disqualification and for those of you who aren't aware in new japan pro wrestling a disqualification or count out results still in a title change which i do like that tna used to do that back in the day so Mm -hmm. i don't remember that's how abyss won his world championship was in by disqualification back in the day (laughs) don't ask me why i remember that but i do (laughs) but um the first thing i thought of when you said that i was like oh abyss won his world championship like that (laughs) do you see a title change here I think Yuya maintains it, even though as much as I, I, oh my God, I love so much the way that great Okan's been creating this, like I'm uniting the universe one town at a time with these absurd matches. Like I wanted them to come. I know Tanahashi just said, titles got to stay in Japan. Titles got to stay in the U.S. I want a 4th of July glizzy showdown between great Okan and I, I don't think they can get like the top guys from like the hot dog eating contest. Oh my they God. can get like they can get like a a, a five through ten. Like one of those guys is like a special like listen, if they could get Joey as like in the corner for a great Ocon to coach him up on the, the glizzy eating, I'm in it. I'm in. Lord. Oh my lord. <laughs> so all right. Well that's the thing. Let's move on to the build stat. I don't understand why they didn't change hands when Okada was holding them, but they didn't. So, if you never open way six man tag team championships, it is. I, by the way, I know it. I know that's not his name, but I write it down now because it makes me laugh. President is Shanahashi, um, Tari, uh, Tariano, and um, Oleg. And who is this? Oleg yeah. uh, Bolton. Okay, I did say it right. Yeah, Bolton. Yeah, Oleg Bolton. Well, I did say it right. And and because just for old time's sake, can you please say the name of the team? Could you say it so much better? And then they went on the show. Does. Los in Gobanabas de Japan Fire. Thank you. I needed that. Yeah. Um, it is um, Yorosuji Fushi and Hiromu Takahashi. I also see LIJ winning this just so that Tanahashi can not have any more belts. <laughs> yeah. I, I want the Gene Blast to get the title just so that glorious hair can have a title to go along with it. <laughs> and the picture i don't know if you've seen the picture of like their match preview all th- you have suji's face it's just like ah hiromu is kind of like crazy face and he's just like laughing and then bushi looks like he's become a male dancer <laughs> like he's got his he's got the surrender cobra behind his head 
And he's like, he's looking like he's about to be ravishing Bushi. <laughs> That's funny. That is very, very funny. Oh, that was the wrong button. That was the wrong one. I didn't want to press that. I was going for this button. There you go. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Sorry about that. I, I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> I was looking at the soundboard. That's what that is. <laughs> <laughs> So, all right. So that's fun. I, I, I have to say, by the way, for those watching on the YouTube, I will have the graphics here, right? Both of them hitting the graphics up so you can see these graphics. That's hysterical. I have not looked at the graphics yet. I do plan on looking at them tomorrow when I'm editing this video. So that's very funny. <laughs> um, let's move on. We have um, this match I'm looking for. This is going to be fucking crazy. Um, it is the New Japan World Television Championship. By the way, is this one of the belts that the probably, is this, this is the New this is the Japan belt, right? So we'll stay in Japan. They won't. Yeah. So this is New Japan World TV Championship. Okay, even weird. though New Japan World stuff isn't on TV. That's weird. That's weird how this works. Um, technically, in my living room, it's on TV. Um, <laughs> um, Jeff Cobb versus um, Terrorishi. It's almost a shame that Mark is out of town because he would totally want to watch this match live. <laughs> he loves both of these men. <laughs> yeah. So uh, this is going to be fucking great. Let's just be honest here. This is gonna be fucking a, a hoss fight to the nine here. And I guess Jeff Cobb retains. Does it matter really on this one? No, I, I think he has to retain just so he can maintain the Haas Invitational. True. Very, very true. Very true. This is going to be a Haas fight, and it's going to be fun. <laughs> to be honest here, we're all going to win. We all win. On yeah. <laughs> um, it's here. We have, and this, is the, this is the one we were talking about before. It is the IWDP Tag Team and the Strong Open Way Tag Team Championship Winner Take All Elimination Match. Take a breath. It is Bullet Club. Kenta and Chase Owens, who are currently the IWGP Tag Team Champions, versus the um, World of Destiny, which I'm sorry, that makes me laugh that the tag team is still dame over here. <laughs> Elephant Pasmo and Hikaleo, who are the current strong champions, versus Bushimon, Hiroki Koto, and Yoshihashi, versus TNDK, Mikey Nichols, and Shane Haste, who I heard his contract is actually coming up soon, by the way. I heard that yesterday. Um, I, I, I laugh at the World of Destiny thing. Because I, I can't not look at um, Tamatanga and Tangaloa in the Berlin and not call them G.O.D. Yeah. And then I, I'm running out this card. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I forgot. They can't call them that because the fact is still G.O.D. out in Japan. <laughs> I'm forgetting that. So what do we do here? It, it, okay, back to my question from earlier. In, this note, in the notes earlier, they said that this is for the belt. Now, is this a unification match? Or is this double champions? Double, double champion. Is that what this is? Yeah. Okay, that is a valid question because I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But I feel like we did this already with Aussie yeah. Open. That's why I'm confused. <laughs> yeah, listen. I uh, My hope is that what they do is the double champions then lose the uh, New Japan strong tags to a team that's going to primarily wrestle in the United States. Makes sense. Yeah. And so with that, I think... Uh, I, I would love to see uh, Hikaleo kind of get a little bit more run. So him and Phantasmo, a.k.a. the lost, uh, the, the lost, uh, 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 what's his name? Logan Paul. Lost Paul. Oh, there you go. There you go. There it is. <laughs> you could have the lost Paul and the Hikaleo wrestle in the U.S. And I think giving Hikaleo a little bit more time in the U.S. again, like they did uh, a few years ago, would be great for folks to see. One, he's freaking huge. Yes. And two... He's underrated. He's very underrated. Yes. And 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 Phantasma's he's he's done more than just be a character. He has excellent wrestling and he's also a scumbag. Yeah. Uh Bishamon, bulletproof at this point. True. Right. And, and, and Kenta. No one's gonna care. No one's gonna care. <laughs> yeah. Kenta and Chase Owens. Listen, all due respect to Chase Owens. He's like, did you ever see multiplicity? Yes, I have seen multiple things. Remember, remember when, like, they copied him to a point where he kept copy calling the, the copy, dudes. The copy, the copy, the copy. Yeah, where he's like, "Hey, Steve," <laughs> like that's the Chase Owens version of Hangman Page of uh, AJ Styles. Ah, that's nicely put. That's nicely put. But yeah, I mean, the copy. You never copy a copy. <laughs> I, I, it's been a long time since I, I haven't heard about the positive reference in ages. Wow, well done. Oh, cool. Listen, <laughs> listen, I, I love me some. Uh, good some good random like established actor does a movie for fun and that's michael keaton at his best again, he has so many of those someone who is just watching sister act two stuff yesterday so i didn't really have that one this week, <laughs> this week. listen quick aside because uh, we're almost at the main event 
I'm doing these miniatures and I picked one of my groups for this is a, they're called the battle sisters. And one of their uh, setups, I've labeled all the battle groups and one of them, because they're like sisters of faith that also fight, they have battle mechs. And so that group is called mobile suit Nundum. <laughs> well played. Well played. <laughs> well played. No, I am. Um, yeah, I'm not going to ever, ever, ever talk shit about somebody randomly making a movie from the dead or what I would literally watch this track two clip this week. So I'm not going to be that guy. <laughs> All right, let's move on. Fast to the super junior tournament final. El Desperado versus Takana Shimori. So I'm confused. Is this the winner of the tournament get to face off against the champ? Like how did this match? What is this tournament? Who do they, who do they face? When do they face them? Yeah. So the winner gets, uh, the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Champ after they're done. Who is the IWGP Junior Heavyweight at this point? I've lost track of the belt at this point. Do you know? I, want to, I thought it was still. Um, let me double check. I'm gonna look at my myself too, but I just don't remember. I don't remember. It's been a while, so I don't remember. I thought it was a Romo, but I could be it's wrong. Show? It's still show. It might still be. Like the last first time, last time I saw the title change was show, but I don't watch every show. Yeah, you're so right. That, yeah. It. February, back in February. Because we'll okay. Despy had a pretty good run after the January 4th. And then, yeah. Yeah, I remember, so, yeah, the, still... I remember the, the show thing because the commentary team was going up like, he's going to be the one that's going to be the, going to be representing at the anniversary show. Like, I remember that call. So that's why I remember mm-hmm. winning. I didn't know if they changed the hands since then. <laughs> yeah, so, so so Despy could be going for his belt back or Ishimori could just be doing Ishimori things. And it's funny because this is billed, much like Tony, as part of the double main event. And it might be the last show on the card, which would be very interesting. I'm interesting if this main event after the IWDP World Heavyweight Championship. That'd be interesting. I think that's what it is. I think it might I be I, because I, I, I don't remember. I don't remember. How, I'm looking at the I didn't actually didn't. I don't type it in the order a lot of times that they type it in. They written in. So let me go check myself. I don't remember the order, but it, that's interesting if that happens that way. You know what I mean? I, that's very interesting. I don't remember the last time they've done something like that. I put on a Dominion card. Yeah, so that's interesting to me. So, yeah, so it is the top match. Wow. Okay. This is gonna be match number nine. Interesting. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Because it's the biggest best of the super junior tournament final in tournament history. Okay. So who do you think wins this one? I think it's gonna be Ishimori. Okay. And um, do we know when he's getting a match against Show? Did he announce that at all? Or did we not know that part yet? That would be typically it's kind of like almost with the January 4th. So I think it'll be in August oh, or right before is- the G1 starts. Right before the G1? Okay. I'm just trying to yeah. figure out like timeline wise when this match would happen. Okay. That makes sense. That makes sense. I- I'll go with you. I'm not sure either way. So I'll go with you on that and we will see what happens there. But before we get to the, the other main event, the one that I that people have been waiting for me to talk about. <laughs> Trust me, people are waiting. Um, the never open weight championship, Jingo Taki versus Tarnane. This is actually gonna be fun. I'm looking forward to this. Um does Shingo just retain here? Shingo or, or, or yeah, John? Shingo retain. Do you think Shingo retains the open weight? Oh, uh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, okay. First of all, can we have a quick aside? Because uh, I don't think we we've, we've been together to discuss Hanari's face tattoo. Oh my lord! What the hell is that? <laughs> Holy crap! What is that thing? <laughs> oh, I thought it was like I thought it was gonna be like a Jinzei Shijaki slash Haku, depending on where you where you fall. Where it's like just ink, and you could like that's wash it off. That's a tattoo. No, no I that's permanent. What I saw it. Was it the G one? Was it the G one or something? Like I was yeah. shocked. <laughs> like he's that? he's done it. I mean, I get it's for family and it's cultural, but I'm like, brother, you better be right about that because when you get older. Those waves are not going to look the way they they look right now. That is a regrettable tattoo when you get older. It really is. Yeah. <laughs> wow. And and I think I think I think uh, Shingo will uh, probably lose. I think you're right. I think Hanari retains. It keeps the youth movement and allows Shingo right to probably wrestle Forbidden Door somewhere out there oh, yeah, without having to risk a title loss because you can't have Tanahashi say we're going to be strong and then all of a sudden you show up as never open weight champ and lose to like freaking Mox, okay. not Moxley. Uh, okay. MJF. Yeah. Just throw that out there. <laughs> As MJF called out Eddie Man randomly to face him if it's been indoor. So, <laughs> all right. <laughs> I, I, so, this will be the third time I rant about this match in the last month. <laughs> okay. I about this match. This will be the third time. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the shit show. Um, it is the IWGP World Heavyweight Championship. <sighs> it is John Moxley defending 
in a lumberjack match against <sighs> evil. <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> Uh, so last week, um, Dad just threw out there. Well, we're talking about Moxley defending a forbidden door. We're talking about everything, and he went and said, "Well, what if Evil wins?" And I lost my fucking shit. <laughs> I lost my shit. <laughs> like, don't even fucking tease me. Don't even fuck with me on that one. I, if Evil wins his belt, I might just be done to the G one. Maybe, maybe not even to the. I'm, I, I can't handle. You being champion again. I can't do it again. Like, there's no fucking way I can handle this again. Oh my god. I he angers me. He pisses me off. His face bothers me. Everything about him bothers me. I he appears in the ring. I literally almost threw something at my TV. Like when he appeared in the ring, I in the ring the read event. I was so angry. Like, I was like, we're not doing this. <laughs> like I'm watching because the main event is Mox and Renderita. And well, Mox and Shadow Uno. Mark Uno and Mandy won watch the match because she likes Uno too. And we're watching the match. And she didn't watch the match. And then the match is over and the lights go out and evil's in the ring. And I literally just said, fuck. <laughs> I knew exactly what was coming next. And he sprays paint the bell. And I am screaming at the TV. Like I am screaming. And Chris is looking at me like, what's going on? And I am so fucking angry. But here we are. It's a lumberjack match. Um can you explain one to me? Because I refuse to like watch anything evil promos. I know he requested this to be a lumberjack match. Why did he request okay, so, a lumberjack match? <laughs> so evil requested this match because he said that John Moxley didn't have any friends from New Japan, and all of his buddies had been taken out from uh, Blackpool Combat Club. So he wanted to be a lumberjack match so that he couldn't escape. They've made it. I think it's a lumberjack death match. Yeah. So uh, yeah, it could, it's like falls count anywhere, anything goes. But the lumberjacks are supposed to throw you back in while that stuff's going on. So it might devolve into like a 40 person brawl because I do like what Moxley did. That's what I was talking about earlier. Go for it. He said, I'm not going to bring in the Blackpool Combat Club. I'm going to grab the third generation guys because they're tired of your BS and they're going to hear they're here to set you straight. And I think that's a great way, again, to focus on New Japan and not just AEW. So with that being said. You, they can't put the belt on evil, right? They can't do this, right? They can't. I, I think. I think when you bring up the third generation, it evokes that he has to win and kind of highlight the fact that this is for New Japan, and evil's been defeated. Because you can't say we're going to make sure we're not going to do the thing with, uh, evil, and we're not going to do the thing with the House of Torture, and then you do the thing with House of Torture. Like Tanahashi would be doing like mid 2020s WWE or mid 2010s WWE, where it's like that thing you hate, we're going to give you more of it. Or oh, it's like, we're going to listen to you. And then literally an hour later, no, we're not. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. <sighs> Mox retains. We move on with our life. Mox, I'm like, Mox should be in the G1 as champion. Like, that's what, that's what should happen here. I think that would be awesome as fucking hell. Like mm -hmm. I want, like we talk, we were talking about this. Why can't the whole Blackpool combo club be in the G one? Like that would be fucking. See, cool. now that's going back to the AEW rule. Like, Blake, they, they just said they're going to get the young in some spots. You don't have to put them in the same block. You don't even have but, to win all your matches. Like I see Brian Danielson wanting to be in the G one. I can yes. see that happening. But I don't think Tony's going to green light it, even though okay. he should have done it last year. Agreed. To allow like this to be the great final year, but now and and just listen. I know you don't like evil. And you're going to look at the production photos tomorrow when you set this up for, for, yes, for the release. For Spotify. I, 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 threw, I threw it on, I threw it on uh, Twitter, and I'm going to tell you, there was no need for Evil to be as sassy as he is in his photo <laughs> for this match. Like, my man should have, I should have seen new profile, like hashtag new profile pic when he <laughs> took this. Because this is like, the sad, he looks like he's about to break up someone's family in a Tyler Perry movie. Like, he oh, is God. a sassy mofo in this picture oh my lord i'm actually looking at it right now I'm looking at your twitter See? right now i'm looking at it's it right look. now give me a second i'm going there right now i just opened my twitter i'm looking right there now you get my reaction because it's the first time i'm seeing <laughs> what the fuck is that yep <laughs> yep that's amazing <laughs> look at that sassy dude that's a sassy little minx right there what is he doing? he's trying to break some hearts he's not trying to win a title he's trying to break up moxley's home oh my lord <laughs> that's hysterical <laughs> god that's funny that's really funny <laughs> yeah like imagine you're you're you know renee and you get a call and john's like well I, w I won the match but i lost my heart 
I'm staying in Japan. Evil won me. Oh my god. Now that that looks like I, I think I've seen that face on a cover of a romance novel once. <laughs> yes, it's like the tides of battle. Like if you if, if like yeah, you can't have Dominion as the name because that's gonna go some places that where maybe you're not really prepared to go. Oh my god, that that was fantastic. I did not expect that. that you, you got the live reaction. I did not see that until just now. <laughs> that was great. Oh my god, that was fantastic. All right. Well, that's the pandemic and, and weirdness of evil and all that kind of stuff. But I will say, and I, I will address this as um as one timeless Tony Storm, that if evil wins this thing, I'm warning you, Japan. I can honestly tell you that I don't give a single solitary shit.